I met Johnny at the University of Nebraska's renowned Tom Osborne Athletic Complex in their Heisman Trophy room that honors Johnny Rogers and Nebraska's other two Heisman winners. So Johnny, tell me about uh, how you came into Max and what's happened since. Well, uh, it was about six months ago now that uh, I first got introduced to Max. And it was at a time in my life where I was, I, my energy levels were extremely low. And I had, I had seemed like I was aging faster than my counterparts. And uh, being a world-class athlete, I have so many different records and so many things that I did, but I thought that I was actually paying for it now because I had people that were my same age that were able to do things that I wasn't able to do anymore. And it seemed as if that I was on my way out and they were still on their way in. And I really didn't know actually uh, what to do. I remember at times just driving by the golf course and wanting to go play golf, but didn't have the energy to get out the car to, to be able to do it. Uh, I'd go to a party or to a function, a business function, and instead of being able to stand up and socialize with all the people, I had to go get me a chair, and we could sit down and socialize mm -hmm. all day long, uh, but it really wasn't going to happen that I could stand up and to be able to carry on a conversation and to still be uh, very comfortable. Uh, I think I was, at that point, realized that I was aging a lot faster uh, than other people were, and uh, I was really afraid of what was really going to happen. Uh, then I ran into to Max, and uh, they told me all the possibilities that things would happen, that I would get more energy, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that my things would, would increase, my focus would actually increase, life would just be a lot better to think about, you know, and I've, you know, I want to test it myself. Well, I'll, I'll just try it myself and just see what actually happens. And I remember thinking clearly there was no way in the world that I was going to be talking about how, smelling the flowers and how, how nice it is out today and all that type of stuff until I actually found myself doing it Wow! and actually feeling better. And then what happened, uh, so you got on Max, what happened next as far as, uh, you know, the things that you used to do that you weren't doing, like golfing and so on? Well, my golf game has increased more because I can practice more. Okay. Uh, I wasn't able to practice uh, that much. I didn't have the energy to practice mm -hmm. that much, uh, even at the beginning. Then I started practicing more and more, and then I was encouraged to go more, and I was mm -hmm. encouraged to do more. I have guys, I get bags of balls, buckets mm -hmm. of balls, and I have guys right there saying all the time, but how can you hit all those balls? They don't have the energy to hit all those balls. Mm -hmm. But because I'm able to hit so many balls and practice so much, my game has improved uh, drastically uh, to the point where, like you said, on my back nine, I'm able to take product, and so my back nine comes out better than my first nine wow. uh, did. Whoever yeah. gets tired first loses. Yeah. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. If you really don't get tired, you don't lose that focus, you're able to, keep, you're able to increase your game rather than just maintain. So I went from maintaining uh -huh. uh, to the back nine and just playing a good back nine to really in getting better as I went along and, and doing things that I had never really actually done before. Uh, and I'm a heck of a lot better golfer. Matter of fact, I, I've shot below par one time uh, since I've been taking max when before max I'd never shot better than 80. Wow, wow, way to go. Now tell me about your outlook on life and how that's changed since you've been on max. Well, I always say keep hope alive. You got to keep hope alive. And, and I remember clearly thinking that hopeless feeling where I was not going to be able to do the things that I had been doing. Uh, where I had to keep secret about the, the problems and the different challenges that I was actually having. Uh, that I was thinking like an old man at 58, I'm thinking like an old man now. Mm -hmm. And you know how you, you hang around youth and with my truancy program all around youth and they think that we're over the hill anyway. Yeah. And I got to thinking that I was basically over the hill too. And, and I have every single week, Steve, every single week, there's a, there's a, a counterpart of mine that I go visit at the, at the funeral home. Mm. Somebody's dying uh, that's about my age, or people in, have so many problems that they're on their way out, and I seen myself being one of those people, and wasn't nothing I could do about it at the time. Uh, since that particular time, though if thoughts are not just things, thoughts are the cause of things, mm -hmm. then I, those thoughts were making things life worse on me than it really was. Now that I feel better, I think better, so life is better, I can do better, and I'm not just 
positively thinking myself onto these things. Right. It is actually, I'm actually being better. I'm actually doing better. I'm actually doing more. I just feel better uh, overall. I can, I can get up in the morning and I can go through the day to the evening. I can outdo most people uh, my age and younger people. I mean, I could not do younger people at this particular point in time uh, when I couldn't outdo anybody at one point in time. Wow. I was really on my way out instead of getting my way back in. I was not going to be on top of things, and, and now I feel just better all the way around. And I, I, I feel comfortable mm -hmm. at encouraging people to take that same path, mm -hmm. uh, to go down that same road, uh, because you know, it's unbelievable that the opportunities that the Max is able to give you that you never had a thought to think about because it never really was available. You just didn't have the information or, or the ability to get these type of uh, products. And I'm just very fortunate that I came across uh, the Max, that that is what they do and that's what it has done for me. And I don't understand all the technical aspects mm -hmm. of it, but I do know that it works. And you're now telling people about it? Oh, every day, every day. I'm very passionate about it. Uh, I, well, you know, you can tell the truth.